Now, bringing you the very best in New Hampshire-based local music on IPMNation.com and 100.1 The Planet, this is Local Outbreak. studio let me get the mics up for these guys we have rabbits for sale hey guys hello hello hey. what's up hello um let's do this and we're gonna play some more of your music uh, of course in a couple of minutes but jet let's start with you in the corner and if we can just go around and you can each tell me who you are what you do in the band and any, yeah, yeah. Uh, any other pertinence of course <laughs> yeah yeah so well, yeah, my name is jet harris lack i uh i play guitar the guitar and i sing lead vocals um 
Um, and um, I guess I'll patch the torch on the Spencer here. We'll <laughs> All right, Spencer. We'll kind of lightning over there. <laughs> I'm Spencer. Yeah. I'm the keyboardist for the band. I do some background vocals as well. All right. Yeah. All right. Very good. I'm and you? Va- I'm Vance Carpenter. I play bass in the band. And uh, fun fact about me, I like mac and cheese. You like mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. Oh, That's yeah. crazy. Mac I like mac and cheese too. Mac and cheese. I'm uh, Oliver Kane. I'm the drummer for the band, and uh, I also do a lot of the managing, and I did the uh, production on the EP. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Thank where, you. Um, where, did you uh, where did you record that? So we recorded that with a friend of ours, David Porter, up in his um, home studio in uh, Foxborough. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is, so his home studio, you said? Yeah. He, um, he used to have a studio way back when in Boston. Um, called Mix One Studio, I believe. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, things happen. So now he has his own little studio that he has in his basement. Um, he does his own stuff. He's done audio production stuff for a while. So a uh, little shout out to Dave Porter, of course. Yeah, yeah. No, he did a great job. Everything sounds really good. Um, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm old enough to remember when, you know, the home studio thing wasn't really a thing, you know. So now, you know, we live in an era and, you know, you guys are... are fortunate you know you're young guys you know growing up in an era where you know you have so many different options in terms of how you record and it's um right you know you can you can do something like that in a home studio quote unquote and it sounds like it was done in a million dollar studio you know <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah thank no you. it's just so much more accessible now like oh yeah able to make and produce music and you know and get it out there for millions to, to hear so it's really great yeah yeah and there's still you know there's a lot of great studios around it's interesting how um, that, that continues as well. It's like, even though you have all these different options for how you record, there's still a lot of, of professional studios around that are, continue to thrive. It's, I think it's because there's just more people making music than ever, you know, um, mm. because of the internet. Um, like I said, you know, I, when I was growing up, we didn't have the internet yet. So, you know, it was, um, it was kind of, a uh, you didn't have a lot of opportunities to really yeah. get your music out there, you know, unless you got signed to a, a record label and all that. But, um, but today, there's so many different ways to um, to record and to distribute music. It, it's really wonderful. And uh, there's more music than, than ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm really curious to ask you guys about influences and, and how you kind of um, define your sound because, and I'm sure you've probably heard this a million times, but, you know, it's, it's unique. I couldn't think of anybody, as I was listening to the songs, you know, I was trying to figure out who you remind me of, and I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I heard maybe a little bit of Vampire Weekend, at least on one of the songs, but but I like you guys a lot better than I like Vampire Weekend. <laughs> so so I don't know if that even works. Um, but, uh, I mean, talk to me about that. Like, I'm, I, I'm going to guess that there's like a, a mix of... Oh, yeah, huge in terms blend, of Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like, you know, we all, you know, grew up listening to a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of like... A lot of us grew up on little like, classics, you know, Beatles, you know, um, and like, you know, Led Zeppelin and like Queen and all of these like classic rock influences that kind of like shaped our, like our kind of our, our taste for music. And then we kind of broadened out and like, you know, um, like uh, we listened to really obscure acts like um, Willwood and the Tapeworms is one that like we all really um, is one that we really listen to a lot. And, you know, it's a very, very small, small, much smaller artist, you know, um, that they have more of like a more of a cult following on the internet, but like, and that's sort of like, I don't know, that was really inspiring to us. Um, yeah. You know, starting out and, you know, releasing music also on the internet and like, um, you know, it's just like, it's a different way to, to reach an audience. So it was, just, uh, and um, I'm sure uh, Oliver, you have influences you want to talk about as well. Shaped a lot of- yeah, yeah. I think, um, you know, we all had different backgrounds and uh, a lot of different music that we do listen to. Mm hmm. Like um, I'm I'm a big Elliot Smith guy. That's my my go-to guy for sure, and that comes through on some of my tracks and like some of the stuff I do. But it also mixes with like something Spencer or Vance would do at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we all have a lot of different influences, which makes writing music together very interesting and also challenging at times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and also just like I think we're still fi- trying to find our sound as well. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean I. I can't really, I mean, there's bands that we like to play, like, we'll play, like, some covers. I know, like, the Rare Occasions is kind of, I think. Yeah, it's the Rare Occasions. Yeah. I mean, when I describe, like, what kind of music I play to people, I usually say, like, alternative 
<laughs> yeah, which is really broad. But we also kind of dip into like the folkier acoustic stuff too, which is like, mm. but not as much as probably other indie acts, mm -hmm. indie, which is so, you know. But um, yeah, like Van said, it, you know, it, it is it is a challenge, and like we're still finding our sound. You find on this EP, we sort of do meander. It's a stew. That's why we called it the rabbit yeah. stew. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be a um, bunch of different. You know, things. and um. <laughs> Because it's it's kind of like you know a meld of our influences and just kind of meandering through all of those different flavors of music. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think that's a big part of what makes it so interesting to listen to. You know, as I'm listening to the four tracks, I mean, they all they all kind of sound like the same band, but at the same time, they're very they're very different, different textures in, in the songs. Mm -hmm. And um, I forget which one, I, I I emailed I I forget which one I said was my favorite. I'll be okay. I'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That one. Oh, that one especially really. Uh, that really gets me. But thank you. Um, do you guys uh, are you playing out a lot? Do you play a lot of shows? Yes, we actually have a show today. Oh, that's right. You've got something tonight. Yeah, we should definitely plug that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, we're playing um, at the Tributary Brewing Company up in Kittery, Maine. Uh, we're gonna be playing from four to six. So if you're in the area. Show go up. Check us out. Get a get a get get some brewskis and, uh, <laughs> and listen to some great music. It's gonna be a good time. Um, and then um, what else do we have coming up? We have um, uh, our next one after that is we're gonna play um, Newburyport Brewery. Um, I, I forget the date on that. It's on the, the tenth. Right? That is the tenth. Yeah. That's gonna be a little later in the day. Yeah, that'll be a little later. Um, what like six or something like that? I, I forget the exact time on that yeah, one. But then um, we play Midway Cafe on the thirty first as well. Yeah, that's enjoyable. So that's point. that's another one right there. Excellent, excellent. I would imagine with your sound, you guys can play a lot of different kinds of places, like right? Because you're not, mm. you know, you're not a metal band, so you're not like super loud, but mm. you're not, you know, you're not just like a, like an acoustic act either. So you know, it's not like you're, you know, you're kind of just doing coffee shops, right? Like you can probably fit in almost anywhere. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. we really do try to like broad, keep it broad, because you know, um, we you know we have a lot of yeah, we do have a huge dynamic range, you know, where we can really play something that's really like kind of forward, more punk, and then. Yeah. Something more soft, you know. It's just. Yeah, and I think we have some acoustic stuff too. So, it depends. Sometimes we'll play like an electric set, but it's also nice to be able to play an acoustic set. Yeah. As well yeah. When we need to. We even like every now and then we also will do like some jazz because we all um, we all also come from like a jazz background. We played in a jazz group for a while all together. Yeah. I mean, oh, I guess that's how we so met. Yeah, that yeah, is kind of okay. like I mean, we all knew each other from school in general, but um, we also played. You know, at, in our high school, we were in the jazz combo together. So we uh, award-winning jazz combo to throw. Oh that in no, there. kidding! Oh yeah. Oh very cool, <laughs> very cool. So yeah, yeah, we um we all kind of met each other and started playing through that. Yeah. So you guys were all in school together. Yeah. We yeah. All in oh, excellent, excellent. Um, and Jet, now your father was telling me you, you play, or at least in the, I think in the video, I watched the video of, um, you guys were doing something for the, um, auditioning for the NPR, NPR yeah, yes. uh, Tiny uh, Desk concert. And I, I had talked to your dad, I, I assume he told you about this. I'd stopped in at the, the store and he was telling me about the guitar that was his, that, that you play. Yeah. That. So that Les Paul, yeah, it's got a, it's got some history, I guess, you know, he, he was a huge, he was into all the crazy hair metal bands and stuff. So he's, yeah. you know, he, um. He was um, Randy Rose was a player that really um, that really um, inspired him. So he went and got a guitar that was just like his. Yeah, it's got like the Floyd Rose style bridge kind of and <laughs> the, the the inlays and stuff. It's a it's a really gorgeous guitar. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's kind of a family heirloom now, and I kind of I kind of he passed it down. That. Yeah, Is it, did he loan it to you or did he give it to you? He gave it. He gave so, it to so me. So he passed yeah, it down. Amazing. Yeah, that's cool. And that must be so cool for him too to to see you. Play yeah, to see guitar. it in use, you know, and not sit and just. Kind of collecting dust. It's right, really, you right. Know, it's getting it's the love it deserves. You know. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's uh, that's excellent. Well, we should play another track, and um, of course. if you don't mind, now normally I would uh, I would say what should uh, what should we play next, but I I might be selfish and play uh, I'll be okay. <laughs> Go uh, for it. Because that, that is that is my personal favorite of these. I absolutely love that song. Um, Thank you. So we will. Uh, oh, we should mention too. Are these on an album, or is this just a collection of singles? These I, are are part of our EP called Rabbit Stew. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Um, how many tracks are on the EP? Six. 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 Yeah. Six tracks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, let's give this a listen, and then we're gonna we're gonna come back and talk to these guys some more. We have rabbits for sale with us live in studio, but this is my favorite. This is called I'll Be Okay.
Get so quiet at the end, but but I didn't want to. I was re- reluctant to talk over it because it's so pretty with the piano. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Real thank you, thank you. Um, I really love that one. Yeah, that is so good. That is so good. That is called "I'll Be Okay." And if you're just joining us, the band is Rabbits for Sale, and they are here with us live in studio on this Saturday morning. Um, hey, where does the name come from, Rabbits for Sale? Ooh. So <laughs> we uh. Jet and I used to play in um, an older just high school band, mostly just for fun. And on our, on our way to practice one time, we saw this sign on our way there, and it said rabbits for sale. It was just like, you know, a, a guy selling rabbits, and he just had a sign out. And we just saw it, and we were like, that, yeah. that's cool. That's a cool band name. Like, <laughs> I'm, almost surprised some, someone didn't, I'm almost surprised someone didn't have it already. I, I hope not. Yeah, I, 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 I was worried. I, I was worried. If they do, we're going to brute force our way <laughs> yeah, to yeah. Yeah. rabbits for sale. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you, I'm sure you realize this. If if you try to look you guys up on Facebook, you got to type in "rabbits for sale band." Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> because otherwise, because it turns out, and I had no idea how many people on Facebook were selling rabbits. <laughs> turns out, it's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of rabbit sales. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of them to go around. So I mean, what Saturated can you do? You know? yeah. we're, we're trying to get a very niche audience of rabbit buyers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, it would help if we had like a Facebook page. We don't have one. Yeah, we need yet. to get a, a proper. We'll get one together. For you don't. One you don't have one. Well, we have an Instagram. I don't know if that technically it goes like over a, to Facebook as well. Cause really. Yeah, because it's all yeah. meta. Yeah. 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 We need to get on the Facebook. Get on the Facebook. Gotta get on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm curious about the the writing process. Do you guys all write together? Do you get together and jam, or or how does that work? A bit of a little bit of everything. Um. Like, uh, they don't know started as a jam, and then we all kind of, like, pulled together and were like, hey, let's write something. But a good amount of the other ones were um, kind of individual, like, you know, kind of us just kind of breaking off and kind of, with, we're, with, especially since we were kind of forming the band, it was kind of material we already had in our back pocket that we were okay. kind of bringing forward. So everybody kind of brought something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, Jet, do you always sing? Um, no, so on that last track, Oliver sings that one. You um, sing that one, Oliver. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we all kind of share a lot of like the lead vocals. I think mm-hmm. Jed definitely does the most, but like Van sings on the song. Spencer oh. has his own songs as well that he sings. And then I sing my songs as well. Yeah. So it kind of, you know, changes. A little yeah. Beatles-esque there. I was, I was just thinking yeah. that. It's cool, that <laughs> it's cool that you're all able to sing lead and, and mix it up like that. 
Um, now, is it just you, Oliver, on that track? Is it is there, are the vocals doubled? Because that yeah. sounds. I love the vocals on that. I Thank love you. the sound of that. Yeah, yeah. So we doubled them and um, did that lower one, and then we had that higher sort of like yeah. Michael Jacksony weird sounding one as well uh, on top of it. Yeah, no, it sounds really cool. It, I, it really creates a, a cool vibe. Um, what do you, when you pl do you play that one live? We do play that one live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we play it live, I usually do the higher part and Jet will do I'll the, the lower, lower one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, now, you mentioned covers. What do you guys do for covers? Because I find you can kind of tell a lot about a band's influences from what they what they choose for cover songs. Yeah, I mean, we were starting out doing kind of some obscure covers yeah, of bands that we liked. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to do, I guess, like more popular tunes. So like right now we're doing... Uh, recently we've been doing Moon Age Daydream by Bowie. Uh, we're doing a Talking Head song, Psycho Killer. Oh, nice! Um, but we do it nice. different. We do it cool. Yeah, we, we kind of <laughs> kind of like a punk. I've heard that. I've heard that song covered before, and and I, it seems like everyone who covers it kind of puts a, a different spin on it, which well, is cool. Yeah. And I and I love every version I've ever heard of it, including the original, of course. My dad loves that song too. I remember growing up because we were both big Talking Heads fans. But yeah, that's a great choice. Yeah, what 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 else? Oh, it's early. No, I was asking about covers. Covers, right? <laughs> yeah, and then we also got um some some of our early co uh, covers that we did were like from the the uh, more obscure bands were like uh, um, Orange Dog Club. We did uh, cover their song called Untitled. And yeah, then, I don't, I don't know them. Orange. Dog they're like super orange obscure. Yeah. They're yeah. probably they're about like as small as us. They actually followers. have a bigger following on their Spotify than us, so they have a lot. They have a good amount yeah. of streams. I think they um, kind of uh, grew from TikTok. They grew from yeah. TikTok oh, for okay. sure, but they're still very small. Yeah, I think they're upstate New York. Oh, yeah. And I, I found them one day, and I was like, these guys are awesome. And like, you know, um, you know, hopefully, like one day, I'm gonna shoot an email and be like, hey, let's do a collab because they have a great <laughs> sound. And like, I think really? like, like, I, I can imagine like a show bill with like the two of us on it. Would just be amazing. Yeah. Um, we do some Tally Hall, too. Oh, yeah. Tally Hall's yeah. another act that's like... Banana Man. Yeah. We did some Banana Man. <laughs> One of those more cult Great following. Do you guys, uh, when when you do obscure covers, does anyone ever come up to you afterward and say, hey, I really love that song, and they assume that it's yours because they don't, <laughs> they don't know it? We Has that it. ever happened? I think um, we've had to state multiple times that it is a cover like yeah. um we, when we covered tally hall we did um the bidding and then we also did banana man uh, great songs you haven't heard them listen to them but uh i think there was like once or twice when we've played banana man where we've had to be like this is a cover by the way <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember once at a show there was some guy that when we started playing it he his face like lit up <laughs> and he was like yeah woo. oh, oh no he knew the song and yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was cool oh no, that's very yeah, cool. yeah yeah it's one of those weird ones and that song is interesting because it's like it kind of like blew up on the internet in like a weird way in the early 2000s mm. so like some people know it but it's like they don't really know what it's from but like it's fun because it's just Song. it's a goofy silly song right and it's always a crowd pleaser so we always we kept it on the set like regard like disregarding like the obscurity of the act and just kind of yeah now do you guys have anybody are there any other bands in the scene that you kind of because i know from my own experience sometimes this happens organically where you just kind of end up teaming up with other bands and playing a lot of shows with with certain other bands is there anybody like that 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 you guys have kind of teamed up with yeah so we've um the past we we booked a couple gigs over the the summer or uh, from the spring that um, we played with a couple people. So Gem D we recently connected with and we've been trying to get some shows with them and also Willie Donardo and the Corporates. Mm -hmm. We seem to really resonate with those uh, artists and uh, we we also just really like their music and playing with them live. We just kind of formed a relationship and you know we definitely keep in touch as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's um, that's that's good. It, you know, it's good to have other because obviously networking is so important. You know, when you're doing this and uh, and and being able to have other bands that you can kind of like I said, it happens organically, but you know, kind of team up with and su support each other in that way. And it's a great way to get a lot more shows. You know, the more the more people you meet, the more shows you get, and and so forth. So, are you guys playing out? All, I, you you mentioned you've got a bunch of shows coming up, but um, do you guys play out through the year? Or I know a lot of bands kind of use. Yeah, and part of it, I'm sure, has to do with part of the country that we're in with, you know, a, a colder winter. A lot of bands mm. kind of take winter to not do so many shows, but kind of focus on recording. Is that kind of 
it kind of coincidentally happened like that, I guess, that we ended up doing all of our gigs in the summer. Yeah. Just because we had spent all the time working on the EP in the winter. Yeah. And we re-released it in November. And then we were, like, still sort of writing stuff. We recorded two singles this past January or February. Oh. Um, March. One of those months. And um, they're, in the, they're still in the mixing and post-production process, but we oh. hope to have those out soon. Oh, cool. At least one of them out by the end of the year. Um, so, yeah, keep on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, and sure. and also for a while, um, Vance was in New York for a little bit going to school, so we were um, short of basis, so we didn't really have the opportunity to play too much. Mm. But um, Vance is back now, so now we're we're gonna try and play as much as we can for sure. Excellent, excellent. Well, we should. Uh, yeah, I want to try to get them all in. Let's play another track. For sure. Uh, what should we go with next? I'll let you guys pick this time. What's on the list? Do we have Potato uh, Head and Prominent are the other two? Yeah, one of the two P's. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, flip a coin. You guys want to choose? Spencer, you choose. Spencer, you choose. Promenade. 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 Right. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. You know, it's funny when I looked at it. I in my mind I said promenade, and then I <laughs> and then I listened to it and I said, oh no, it's promenade. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll go with this one next. If you are just joining us, we have rabbits for sale. Uh, no, we're not selling rabbits. It's the name of the band live in <laughs> studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fluffy, fluffy. Yes, <laughs> we love rabbits, but no, rabbits for sale is here with us live in studio. We're playing some tracks from their EP. Uh, what's it called again? Rabbit Stew. Rabbit Stew. And it's streaming on all platforms Spotify, Apple Music. Outstanding. Oh, your... Outstanding. Give it a listen. All right, give this a listen. This is called Promenade. <laughs>
I wish my fingers could do that on the guitar. <laughs> 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 that is uh, that is so pretty. That is Promenade. Thank you very much. And uh, the band is Rabbits for Sale. They are here with us live in studio. And um, yeah, that is uh, that is really nice. That's the kind of thing you can just kind of close your eyes and get lost in. That's, yeah, that's... I just found them on Amazon Music to add them to my playlist. I need to paint to this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Excellent. Yes. Awesome. I it. Yeah, Jenny's also looking, always looking for music to, to paint to. She's an artist. and Awesome. That's very cool. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, I got to paint to that one, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I really do enjoy you guys' music. It's really great. And Thank I do... You put a lot of independent artists in my playlist and I did just add you for real. We do really thank appreciate you. it. Thank, thank you yeah, very thank much. much you know. yeah. We're always looking for, you know, fans to enjoy our stuff and we really appreciate it. Is it, um, I'm curious about uh, recording a song like that. Is it, is it challenging to really get that guitar sound exactly right? Because it's, to me, it's such an art when, when you hear that and, and you can, you can hear everything so clearly to the point where you can you can hear the you know the fingers moving on the fretboard. Mm. You know, I love that. Is that challenging to get that right in the studio? I mean, fortunately for us, you know, Dave is just like a, you know an extremely experienced engineer, and like you know, he knew all the the right stuff for mic placement and like how to get that. Yeah, all of uh, everything that was coming from here out. Yeah, I'm in from my guitar out to the. Did, did we do um direct in and mic? I think that's what we did, right? I think we did like a scratch with direct in, but I don't think we ended up using it at all. Okay, so we did you, just use a mic then. Because when we plugged it in, when plugging in an acoustic guitar, the electric with the pickup, yeah, doesn't always sound good. Yeah, you know, it's always better to get that raw, you know, recording with a mic. It's you know. Yeah, like yeah. Compressor, you know. And, I'm mm-hmm. always curious about that because I'm a bit of a recording nerd, and I, I <laughs> just, I, I love when I, when I hear, you know, because it doesn't. You know, a lot of that 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 specifically is something that with the guitar that a lot of um, a lot of times it, it's you have to be so precise about how you do it to really to really capture it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And to really do For it sure. justice. And uh, and uh, no, that that is that is really, really good. Um, what should you know, we kind of we kind of talked about it a little bit about uh, trying to find you guys on Facebook. But what should our audience know about how to find you guys online to keep up with everything that you're doing, find your music? Yeah, so we have, you know, all like the the majority at least of like the the classic socials. We have uh, Instagram. It's rabbits for sale dot official, right? Rabbits for sale dot official on Instagram. Instagram is definitely the best one to follow at yeah. the moment. It's the it's definitely the best way to keep updated on everything, all of mm-hmm. our events and what we're doing. Um, TikTok as well, right? TikTok is good, you know. Um, TikTok, you find some funny content. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, that's you know where the majority of our like just our reels and our skits and like little things get posted and everything. Yeah, and it's always good to you know follow us on that too and help support so we can beat the algorithm and you know yeah go, and, go viral and, you know and, and you guys are really creative you know just beyond the band you know beyond the music you guys are really creative so you're able to thank you you know because content creation is so important uh, super important you gotta you know you gotta like multitask pretty much when you're yep. in this industry it's like absolutely we we did have one uh semi-viral video from spencer <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. It was, oh. It, I, I, viral maybe isn't the right word but like it we got more got more views than everything a lot else. more views than the rest viral, probably for, us. Like, viral mm-hmm. for us it yeah, viral for us. Was it like, yeah it's probably 20, at like 20k 20, now 21k like. yeah. i think is where it's at yeah. right now which is more than our other videos that kind of oh. can only get like oh, 500 or something. yeah what what was it about this one what, 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 um what, what i happened? so i was i was having trouble falling asleep one night and i i just thought of an idea i was like what if i jumped on a piano uh-huh. and so but then it kind of developed into like trying to um grab people's attention like oh look at this this beethoven technique that people do and then i run over and i jump over a keyboard but i cut it so it looks like i'm about to fall on it yeah and i like play all 80 keys at once and, oh yeah it's really it's a really yeah, funny yeah. video really yeah, yeah. we just gotta watch fastest. it you know yeah. it's what like five seconds or something like that yeah it's very it's quick very it's quick very you know effective but there's like the attention to detail on it like you like um you have like background music that's like oh yeah early, no like, I I, yeah, um, I, really I did a, like a slap bass funk version of like Burleys in the background yeah something yeah, yeah. it's just nice. crazy. You watch it. <laughs> yeah. oh that's very cool that's you're very cool a, you're in for a laugh for sure by the way we should uh, say hello to everybody quickly in the Facebook live chat because you're getting some love in there um, our friend mm-hmm. Bruce I don't know if you know Bruce from uh, Legion of Solace uh, he's in Massachusetts and they do a lot of uh, promotion they they work with a lot of different artists. Um, someone you, sh- you should meet. Uh, he's in the chat and he says uh, they would pair really well with the band Jam Tomorrow that you had on a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you know those guys, Jam Tomorrow, but yeah, you guys. Um, yeah, they would. We should definitely. Well, we'll, uh, we'll reach out to them for sure. I haven't, I haven't heard of them myself, but uh, yeah. they sound cool. You, cool guys, you guys would fit really well with them. Yep. 
Our friend EZG is in the chat. This is off topic, but he says, hi, Matt. Are you ready for SummerSlam? I, I guess we're ready. I mean, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> ready. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to get ready for. We just turn on uh, Hulu. And, or, uh, popcorn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Peacock. <laughs> popcorn. Peacock. Popcorn. Um, popcorn. <laughs> our friend Charles Richardson is in the chat and says, good morning. Let's go CM Punk SummerSlam tonight. Uh, yes, we know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> They're making sure we don't forget, apparently. Uh, Melanie La Liberty from the great state of Vermont uh, is uh, in the chat and says, ladies totally dig guys that say uh, brewski. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. 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 I, I forget who said it. Couple of it was me. I said brewski. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now we're all going to say it. There you go. Sure. Yeah. Showing his New England side. The ladies love brewski. Couple of brewskis. That's right. Couple That's of brewskis, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, in a moment, we'll play uh, we'll play one more track uh, to uh, to close out the segment. But it's great having you guys here. Thank um, you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Ab- so much. Abso- absolutely. But uh, for those listening live on Saturday morning, we definitely need to plug the show you have today. It's uh, this afternoon, actually, right? Yeah, yeah Tributary yeah. Brewing in um, Kittery, Maine, right over the border, um, basically in Portsmouth, honestly. <laughs> but it's from four to six. Be there. You know, it's gonna be a good time. They have they have great beer. Good people. It'll be a good time. They have brewskis? They have, have brewskis. Brewskis. Sorry, and brewskis. Ah. They have great brewskis. <laughs> great brewskis. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. And um, by the way, too, the music that you're working on now, because you've got a couple singles you, you'd mentioned, uh, any kind of an ETA on those? Or, are you gonna, <laughs> or is it going to be a while? We've I've, been trying to figure that out. I mean, hopefully not a while. Hopefully not a while. I mean, just said before the end of the At year. At least one of them before the end of the year, I think. 100 percent. i think we're hoping earlier but like this summer we kind of dedicated to like gigging yeah yeah so we're kind of i think once maybe like september hits okay yeah okay. Maybe, we're also, we'll, probably, we could say october for now and just see what happens yeah <laughs> we're also November, like, you know, super perfectionist about it you know we want the mixes to be perfect so you know yeah it's about getting the best quality content out there for yeah for our listeners you know oh absolutely absolutely and um oh one more thing because you guys were talking off air is there a story that you want to tell <laughs> oh yeah uh well van since you're the culprit for it i guess you should start yeah, us off it. <laughs> yeah. that's caused this big problem. well i don't think you want me to tell the story because it might be biased coming from me I that's true there is yeah it's true that's yeah. you want to start Who is the first this, witness? Is, well, this is the story for uh this happened while we were recording the vocals Okay. Yeah, it was a uh, guitar, acoustic guitar. Was it guitar? Yeah. No, I thought. No, because I remember I was I was playing guitar, oh, yeah, you, and I was really. Nervous. Well, yeah, you were isolated <laughs> in the room. Yeah, no, no, no way. <laughs> All right, anyways. But we were recording. I'll be okay. Yeah. So, we we were recording the guitar for I'll be okay, and Oliver's uh, was told, you know, just go in the room, you start recording, and the band comes down, and <laughs> announces that something's wrong with the toilet, or like it's broken or something, and so. <laughs> In a rush, Jet and Dave go upstairs, figure out the situation, and Oliver's just in there recording the rest of the guitar, and there, he, he didn't know what was going on. So then, I no idea. <laughs> walked yeah. out, and I'm like, they broke the toilet. Oh. That's, that's, I don't know. It was, it was like quite bad. I mean, it was pretty, there was a lot of water. Like it, it was a oh, lot. really? I flushed yeah, it, like and it just started hours. overflowing. Oh, it was, no. It was, quite, it was quite the mess. And it, you know? I was in there recording the acoustic guitar part, and I had no idea, so I'm just sitting in there, and I finished, and I'm still sitting in there like, uh, what happened? <laughs> yeah. And I, eventually Dave came down, like um, hit the button to talk into the room, and was like, hey, everything's f- fine. Uh, the the toilet kind of broke. Just <laughs> just do another pass. Do another take. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> all right. So both the guitar tracks, um, the acoustic guitar tracks, were both done in one take, and they are yeah. doubled. So I, I think that the toilet kind of motivated me to get it done quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it was clean, you know. Not like the toilet. Um, not like the toilet. The right. toilet the was tracks, clean. I want to say I sure, did sure. not go number two. You didn't? <laughs> yeah, you it was just. It was I didn't. Just like, I just want to clarify for that. <laughs> okay. It was a, it was a well, that does make a difference in a situation like that. <laughs> it does. Actually, it, it, does. Does, it does make a very big difference. Um, well, good. All right. Is, has the toilet been repaired since then? I assume everything's all right. It I was not. So. Everything it is was not damaged. Yeah. Everything Badly. is okay. He took it out of our, you know, he, he kind of maybe charges for it. Who knows? <laughs> There's an extra charge on there. It's very rock and roll, though. It is. So there's nothing more rock and roll than a broken toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually going to go down in the in the history book as the, as oh, the yeah. broken toilet that, incident. Yeah. Mark Roll Hall right. of Fame, that's going to be that toilet right That's there. right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you got to get that story in there. <laughs> 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 that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, and before we play this, uh, uh, 
a song with a title like Potato Head, I feel like there might be a story behind it, but I could be wrong. Is there a story behind Potato Head? I mean, head? there's kind of a story. But Is it it's... about an actual Potato Head? <laughs> I mean, no, but I guess in a sense. I mean, it's kind of like when you have a Potato Head, you're just kind of like, you know, you got the eyes and the eyes on them. Maybe they're lopsided. <laughs> and then well, you got the mouth. Yeah. From what you told me, <laughs> you, it's kind of about making a perfect person, right? Yeah, it's about making a perfect person, but oh, okay, yeah. kind of not a realistic it, idea. Like, yeah, it. parts of it are inspired by like real people that we've met. You know, like some lyrics, um, especially like the first lyric, "Your eyes are," you know, whatever it is. But like some <laughs> of them are inspired by people that we actually know. So it's just like a conglomerate of like trying to create like the ideal person and yeah. um yeah. and kind of like the unrealistic aspects of that as well. Yeah. Okay, I think conglomerate. That's a pretty. That's a big word a for me. Word. Conglomerate, yeah. 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 It's a good word. It's a good, solid word. <laughs> so we will end with this, but uh, rabbits for sale. Guys, thank you again so much. This thank has you been so wonderful. Much for thank you so much for having us. Really Absolutely. It. And we'll do this again uh, when you've got the new music ready to ready yeah. to go. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're we'll definitely have you back here to promote those singles. We'll have sure. you back and we'll, we'll play those. And, uh, and we will end uh, our segment with this track. But here it is. This is Potato Head, and the band is Rabbits for Sale. Peace, make them fit.
perfect Oh, you'll be perfect Come to life and tell